Welcome to part two of our trip to Alabama. Driving from Mayer State Park, we pass through downtown Mobile on our way to Lake Loreen State Park near Tuscaloosa. It was 250 miles of rolling countryside and small towns, with about an hour spent driving in Mississippi. Lake Loreen is a beautiful park with a great campground, while geared to summer boating and swimming is very nice in the winter. We're in the tunnel, going into Mobile, in the RV, first time. We are in the town of Coker, Alabama. I got three Alabama. school buses now. Joe is driving so slow that he has three school buses behind him. I'm going to speed limit here. I know. That was a joke. I uh, think it's uh, it must be the time of day where school gets out. It's got to be it. We really enjoyed our RV camping trip at Lake Laureen State Park. We had a great sight right on a beautiful lake. The weather was cold but sunny. It got down into the 30s both nights we were there. It was nice to just do a little hiking and watch the ducks in the lake. This area is the home of the University of Alabama known for its football. And the park offers weekend accommodations for folks who want to be close to the action on game days. Central Alabama has a long European history. Hernando de Soto fought a battle here in 1540 against a local chief named Tuscaloosa, translated Black Warrior. In 1814, Andrew Jackson led the U.S. Army at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend, where approximately a thousand Indians were killed. This battle really marked the beginning of the end for the local Indians, some of whom later moved to Florida and became the Seminoles. They were forced to cede 23 million acres to the U.S. government. An interesting thing we learned is that most Alabama state parks offer RV and boat storage. There are a bunch of them here. Alabama state parks in the off season at least are pretty loose on check-in and check-out times. All of the staff were very friendly and accommodating. When we arrived we were told we could go pick any open campsite we wanted. With 80 some in three different RV loops it was a lot to see. There are really nice options in each area, but we got a nice sized one right on the lake with no one close by. Site 43 was a really good pick for us, especially since Site 41 was closed. The view of the lake was really nice to wake up to. We had a nice private area in front of our RV where we could enjoy the lakefront. The ducks were really entertaining. It was fun watching them eat and feed on the lake and just swim around. This was still early in our first long RV trip of 12 nights in Alabama. And, spoiler alert, we had a great time on the whole trip and we'll do more long trips. We're catching the fever. It was nice to see an area of the country we had not visited before and interesting to see preconceived notions based on not much proven wrong. What do you think of when you hear Alabama? It's much more hilly than I expected. It's great woods, many large lakes. It seems to be a really strong economy with high-end manufacturing, high-tech, NASA type businesses. If you think rundown farms with poor sharecroppers, we didn't see anything like that in over 700 miles of driving back roads in Alabama. We have four or five more videos in the Alabama trip series, so subscribe and click the notification bell to follow along. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Ask any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.